What does it feel like to be getting this Lifetime Achievement Award? Oh, it feels merry like Christmas. It feels merry like Christmas. 50 years in theater. Yeah, no, it is. It, it really is. It means you can embrace all the shows you did back when you didn't know what you were doing all the way till now. And you were nominated for Tony Award. I told you you were going to be nominated. You sure did say it. So sure how did it feel say. to be nominated for that masterful role in Between Riverside and Crazy? Sodium, my ass. High sodium. The highest possible sodium. Feels great, uh, especially at 73. <laughs> yes, yes. But it was a great company to be with, and you know, I say it's just a kick. I ran away to join the circus, and I made it to the big top. And you were ready to just toss it all in, and aren't you glad you did it? I am. I am. Yes, I gotta I tell you, for Roz Ruff to do my presentation introduction, that that's so personal. It means so much. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm just blessed and grateful. That's all I can tell you. I'm blessed and grateful. Thank you so Thank much. You. Stephen McKinley Henderson. Uh, I play Pops in Riverside of Crazy. Stephen McKinley Henderson is like a national treasure. Uh, the legendary Stephen McKinley Henderson. Any day to see him do his thing on the stage is like a gift. <laughs> I knew I, I, I might get emotional, so I said, I better write this. Oh, they got it on the prompter. Oh. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Uh, love, freedom, and art are among the few things that are worth what they cost. It is far more difficult to receive than it is to give. Uh, I give thanks to all of the fundraising organizations and the, the funders, the people who get on the phone and beg for the money so that we can have theater. Yes. And it, it needs to be supported and funded because it is a benefit to the society. It's a benefit to the public uh, for there to be art performance art. Thank you for your music. You know, it's, it's, music is so spiritual because it can fill the room and you can't see it and you can't touch it. It's a spirit. It's all around you. Salam, shalom, shalom, salam, namaste, and hallelujah. Here, Here to, to accept tonight's second honorary award on behalf of her mother, please welcome Savannah Shange. Well, first, thank you so much to the Lucille Lortel Awards for honoring my mother this way. And I really wanted to take this moment to honor her and thank her for the words that she brought to life in the world. For Color Girls was a watershed moment. <laughs> from, its, from its inception in Los Angeles poetry haunts and my aunt and playwright Ifa Baeza is here and she was there at those shows and helped create the flows we're so familiar with now. In that show, um, as many of you may remember, my mom asks, can somebody, anybody, sing a black girl song? And not only a generation, but a genealogy of black and women of color writers stood up and said, yes, I can and I will with all of my heart. But not everyone here tonight can sing a black girl song, but every one of us can listen. If you are sitting here, the chances are you have the chance to amplify a black girl song, read her script, take a chance on her show, secure funding for one more residency so she can pay her bills, celebrate and compensate her work now so she can come on stage and receive her award herself. Thank you.
Henderson is like a national treasure. Welcome to Inside New York. We are delighted and so honored to have back on the program a veteran Broadway star and film star who has been in eight of August Wilson's 10 plays. He's also been in six Broadway shows and five Oscar nominated films. And he took a moment to spend some time with us. So we welcome okay. back <laughs> on Inside New York, Stephen McKinley Henderson. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Joan. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back on Inside New York, especially while you're performing. And I haven't said, was he gives a tour de force performance in Between Riverside and Crazy by Stephen Gerges, who's going to join us later. But I want to congratulate you. It's so wonderful to see you in a leading role. You know, so many of us have seen you in so many of the August Wilson plays. You're like, you know, a stable. If you're not there, it's like, you're Stephen. <laughs> but Joan, um, Joan. oh my goodness this is yes oh yes oh yes. yes i want you to talk a little bit about you giving your all first of all how you started in theater when did you know you wanted to be an actor you know i knew i i guess i knew i wanted to do it uh when I was encouraged uh, to go, I had a teacher in high school. I went to a wonderful, wonderful high school in Kansas City, Kansas, Sumner High School. And um, I did uh, plays there. That's when I started doing plays. And I actually, um, a teacher who, who told me after I had gone my first year at college to Lincoln University in Jefferson City, Missouri, historically black school, I, and she said, well, they're, they're having auditions for the Juilliard School. So I went to Chicago, I auditioned and got into that first class, the group one at Juilliard. And I had been doing plays all through high school and in, in, in uh, the community. But that's when I realized, well, I, I got to do this. And I'm welcoming the Pulitzer Prize winning playwright of Between Riverside and Crazy, Stephen Gierges. So I'm thrilled to have the two of you on. Say, McKinley, but you, you're a national treasure, you know, and for any, any person, young or old, but especially young, if you can't come to New York, if you can't, you need to see the product of, you know, 50 years of work and struggle. And we are delighted to announce that Between Riverside and Crazy has been extended to January 19th at the Second Stage Theater. You can also win a pair of tickets to see the show if you're one of the first to message us on our YouTube channel or via email at insidenewyork at yahoo.com. And you can watch more of our interviews with Stephen McKinley Henderson and Stephen Gerges on one of our upcoming programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell so you'll receive an alert when it's available on demand. And we'll see you again next week on Inside New York. Yeah.